I'm Sarah Little, one of the maternal fetal medicine physicians here at Brigham and Women's Hospital. So preeclampsia is a disease or disorder that is uh, unique to pregnancy. So we don't know the exact reason why it happens, but we do know that it's um, somehow related to the placenta. So women who are pregnant who have preeclampsia tend to have high blood pressure, um, often have protein in their urine, um, swelling in their legs, arms, and hands, um, and can have other systems be involved. So can have involvement of their liver or kidney or their blood clotting pathways. In addition, you can look at the baby or the fetus as well to look for signs of preeclampsia. So, um, look at the growth or the size of the baby as well as the blood flow in the umbilical cord that connects the baby to the placenta um, and uh, that can also be markers of preeclampsia. So preeclampsia is one of the more common complications we see in pregnancy. It affects about 5% of women. Um, some women are at more risk for developing preeclampsia in a pregnancy, so first-time moms have a higher incidence of preeclampsia, as well as older moms, um, heavier moms, moms carrying twins or triplets, um, as well as women who have underlying um, medical disorders. So women with chronic hypertension have an increased risk for preeclampsia, or women with underlying renal disease or kidney dysfunction, or uh, lupus, or other autoimmune disorders. In addition, once you have preeclampsia once, you're at higher risk for having it in a future pregnancy. The main complication of preeclampsia is though, because it's a disorder that's related to the placenta, really the only cure is delivery. So um, babies often have to be born early when they have preeclampsia, and they can also be affected by the placenta. So they can be small, or the placenta can start to tear off of the uterus early, something called an abruption. Um, so we can see complications from that as well. So at Brigham and Women's Hospital, we see um, a lot of women who have preeclampsia or risk factors for preeclampsia. Prenatally, we um, screen women with blood pressure. We ask about symptoms. We'll look at their urine when they're in their prenatal um, appointments in the office to look for protein in their urine. And then if we're worried that they're developing preeclampsia, we'll often take a closer look at them. Sometimes that involves being admitted to the hospital, um, to our inpatient service, where we can watch their blood pressures very closely, their babies very closely, um, collect more information on their labs or their protein level, and um, try to make the diagnosis of preeclampsia. Mild preeclampsia or preeclampsia without severe features can often be managed expectantly, so you can get more time out of the pregnancy as long as the baby and the mom are doing okay. And even when women have um, some severe features, so very elevated blood pressures needing um, blood pressure medications, we'll keep them in the hospital watching very closely and try to get as much time out of the pregnancy that is safe. In addition, um, studies have found that taking a baby aspirin for women uh, during the pregnancy who have a history of preeclampsia can help reduce their risk of recurrent preeclampsia. So that's sort of one medication we can use to help treat them. And then after the birth, so we work very closely with um, our maternal fetal medicine, our group and our colleagues, as well as our neonatologists here um, who care for the babies after the birth. And then women who have preeclampsia in a pregnancy are at um, increased risk for having cardiovascular complications throughout the course of their life. So we also work very closely with primary care physicians and cardiologists here to make sure that women are getting the care that they need um, for the rest of their life to keep them healthy. Often here at Brigham Women's Hospital, we'll see women who had preeclampsia once come even before they get pregnant for a preconception consult to talk about you know, specific risk factors for them and anything they can do for risk reduction prior to pregnancy. So here at Brigham Women's Hospital, we do have a the um, opportunity to have many um, specialists be involved and to provide the optimal care for women with preeclampsia. So we have a large team of maternal fetal medicine doctors, both taking care of women um, in the inpatient and outpatient setting. We have uh, anesthesiologists and we actually have an OB anesthesia division, so an obstetrical anesthesia division, as well as uh, a large NICU uh, neonatologists who um, take care of the babies after the birth. Women were first diagnosed with preeclampsia, I think it can be very scary, and they're worried about what it means for their health and the health of the baby. I think there are a lot of questions that arise at the beginning, and, and we try to reassure women, gather as much data, and um, 
uh, provide them the best care going forward in terms of prolonging their pregnancy for as long as it's safe for them and their baby to really maximize or um, improve their outcomes for both them and their baby.